Hello my friends, Enrique here, and today we are going to be taking a look how to swap your graphic card. This is especially important if you are changing the manufacture of your graphic cards. For example, if you are going from AMD to NVIDIA or from NVIDIA to AMD, because if you don't really want to delete everything and reinstall Windows and start all over again, and you want to keep your Windows installation, it's really important to do the steps correctly so you are not going to have any conflicts from the drivers of a manufacturer to the other one. But even if you are changing from the same manufacturer, it's something that is really recommended to do. So right now, the first thing that you want to do is to go into the PC where you want to change your graphic card and download a couple of things. The first thing that you want to download is DBU. This application is a display driver on installer. What this does is to remove the complete driver, even if it is for NVIDIA or AMD, and it's not going to leave any trails behind in your system. You want to scroll down where you're going to see the download locations. You want to choose the one that is closer for you and download the program. Now you have to download the drivers for the GPU that you want to install. So for example, if you're going from AMD to NVIDIA, you want to download the NVIDIA drivers. For the AMD drivers, you're going to go into this side. Everything is going to be down in the description. And here you're going to select the model of graphic cards that you're going to be installing in your system. Let's say, for example, if you are going to have one 6000 series, 6800, then you select the one and you click into Submit. If you're going to be installing an NVIDIA graphic card, you have to go into the NVIDIA website, select the graphic card that you're using. For example, in my case, I'm going to change from this AMD graphic card to a 1080 Ti. So you want to select the graphic card that you're going to choose, select your operating system, click on Search, and then click into Download. I have already made this for the sake of this tutorial, so now we can close this window right here. You want to open your downloads, uncompress the file of the DDU that you just downloaded. Now, in here, you're going to have another application. You want to double click into it and click into Extract in the same place as it was before. Once that you already have it here, you could probably run the software already from Windows. But what I recommend you guys to do is to restart your system into safe mode. And to do that, you want to hold the Shift key, click into Power, a click into restart. Now you're going to be into this menu of Windows. Go into Troubleshoot, click into Advanced Options, go into Startup Settings, and now tell you to restart to change Windows options. Click into Restart. Now it's going to show you all the options. You want to press S4 to enable safe mode without networking. This is a really important step. You don't want to be connected to the internet while doing this. Now wait until the system restarts. And now you want to open once more that folder and open the display driver on installer. This is going to tell you that it seems to be the first time that you launch it and the things that you need to know before using DDU. Just clicking OK. And all of the options right here, I will leave it like they are. They're going to be the best settings already set up. Click into Close. And in here, you want to select the GPU that you have installed into your system, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. In my case, I have AMD, so I'm going to select AMD. And now you want to click into Clean and Shut Down. This is going to clean all the files and all the drivers from your system, and then it's going to completely shut down your computer. All that you have to do now is to sit and wait until the program is done. Now, when the system has completely shut down, you want to remove every cable from your PC and take your system into a place where you can work on it more easily. So now that you have your system already turned off without any cables, especially important, the power supply cable, you want to turn off the button in the power supply. This is something a little bit old school, but I will recommend you guys to do it, to take out all the remaining energy from the system. Something like 10 seconds, anything like that. And now you can remove the side panel. Every VCK is going to be different for this, but normally there are a couple of screws on the back or in the side, like in this case. And I recommend you guys that you set up your PC on horizontal on the table where you are working, because it's going to be way more easy to work this way. Now, the first thing that you want to do is to remove the cables from the GPU. Once you have done that, every case is going to be different, but you're going to need a small screwdriver and then remove the two screws from the back. Then underneath the graphic card on the back, you're going to see a small tab that is what holds it in place to the PCIe port. What you want to do is to press it under to release the graphic card from your system. So now that you have your old graphic card outside. What I'm going to do in this case, this is an old AMD Radeon 580. I'm going to swap it out for this MSI 
NVIDIA GeForce 1080 Ti. The steps right now are exactly the same that what you did before, but in reverse. You have to make it exactly the same, but to put it on the inside. So take your case, put it in the PCIe slot. Be really careful right now when you are sure that it's secure inside. All that you have to do is to put again the screws and depending, of course, on the power cables that your new graphic card needs. I'm going to set this up together and we see us once more into the PC how to install once more the drivers. Now, before you start your PC for the first time with your new GPU, I would recommend you guys that you take out your internet cable or your Wi-Fi, but this isn't really too necessary. So now, turn it on. So when you start your system, it's going to look really strange and maybe you are going to have some things pop up. You don't have any internet, so we can quit. Now you want to go once more into the drivers that you downloaded before, double click into them and install them. As these don't have internet, it's going to tell you that a smart screen can be reached right now. Don't worry about this, click into run and wait until all the drivers are installed into your system. I recommend you guys, if you have the option like me to install also G4 Experience, that you do it. It's the easiest way for you to update your drivers. So click into agree and continue. You could choose Express, I always choose Custom, but click on Next, select everything right here. You can perform a clean installation, but as we remove it, all the drives isn't really necessary. So click into Next and wait until NVIDIA G4 Experience and the drivers are installed into your system. That is all done, you only have to do is to click into Restart Now. Sorry if I could not capture the end of the video, but I think you could see it again really good with the camera. Because, of course, I'm installing the drivers, OBS didn't want it to work. But anyway, that is pretty much it, guys. Now, enjoy your new GPU and have fun. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, a subscriber is always more than welcome. Thanks for watching once more. And like always, see you in the next time. Bye bye.